Good afternoon, Seth here. Sorry if the uh, camera angle is a bit funny. I have to redo this video because I just did it all with like, having the bow in frame. That's pretty important because I want to see how the tiller's going. But yeah, I, I stood in this frame, so I should say hello. Welcome to the channel. My name's Seth. I've been making bows. And uh, the other week I stood in this spot and said I was going to make a Japanese longbow holding a, uh, a new branch. This new branch. Here it is. We're at the point now where we're trying to get it to full draw and deciding exactly what that is. So you could say it's a full draw now, depending uh, how far you want it to draw. I should say actually first, first and foremost, this is the style of bow that I've been making up until now, in case it's the first time joining me. Much more familiar style of bow. And that is because it's a more accurate style of bow. Simple as that, your symmetrical style of bow. You take nice lightweight stiff ammunition. Well, this this design particularly, I've gone for a U self bow and then the U self bow being U that has a particular type of heartwood, a particular type of sapwood, and it works very well as a one piece wooden bow rather than taking bits and sticking them all together. U just grows like this. And I've taken that principle, cut out the middle, formed up the handle, and made it in. Well, added the the features that you'd expect on a modern recurve bow in order to be able to shoot ammunition like this, more versatile ammunition. So this whole design is about uh, well, the design and the way that you shoot it is all about accuracy. So you draw underneath your eye. Okay, that's getting the, the bow. In frame and then from that position you've got the most accurate view of the target of where your arrow is going to go Let's see if i can do a group so the last video i did with uh the bow is out of frame it was just that one that was out of frame this is such an odd shape i did a really nice group let's see if that's you can do it again and me i'm feeling pretty stiff one let's do another one Let's see, these arrows are 31 inches. They're probably actually a little bit long for me. I think I draw to 29. And the whole thing is about accuracy, putting arrow on arrow. Uh, increasing distances. Uh, one of these knots is slightly tight. Let's see if I've got this one. Yeah. I need to loosen up the knot on that. It won't release the string well. Last one. There we go. Lovely group from Thatcher. So, raggedy bit of wood, this. I almost didn't expect it to survive. Nice and long bow profile to it. Again, yeah, it's made a really nice power end up on this one. 38, 30 inches, if I've measured that right. <laughs> yeah, up for sale on eBay if anyone's interested. Yes, yeah, so that is much more like the bows that I've been making. Symmetrical, nice comfy handle. Lower poundage, comfy field bows, target bows that you could shoot all day. But then this branch, after talking to a fellow who uh, who was interested in this style of archery, just had to become a Japanese longbow. Hopefully, that's fitting in frame. So I want to show how it's bending now. Probably stand properly if I'm going to do this. First thing to notice is that the handle is not in the middle. It's an asymmetrical design. Second thing to notice is that it's designed to draw past your face. Yeah, hopefully you can see that. Hunker down a second. Hopefully you can see the full bend. Let's get the elbows out of the way if they are. I want to see the full bend in the camera as well. Let's say we're going past our face, but it's whether it's going far enough past our face to be able to be used with judo archery. You can definitely shoot it in the uh, Asiatic style, whether you can fish it using judo, judo, I don't know. So yeah, the issue I have now with it is it's almost done. We need to... God damn it. Stupid quiver. Didn't hit. 
what we need to decide now is exactly how far it draws. Now this is a 32 inch arrow. It's hard for me to see how far off the end of the arrow I am. That's our wall right there. So I can see in the glass. Oh, yeah, we're close. So that's what, like 31? 31 inches. There, about. Rather, let's shoot this arrow rather than put it back in the quiver. Trick style, got to flip out of the way. bad. There you go, some 32 inch arrow. So yeah, the other day I went and grabbed myself, oh, I should say because the arrow that I just flung down there, 32 inches, is about the longest arrows you can buy really. Um, yeah, that's, that's longer than most people's average draw. So I went ahead and made some 34 inch ones. The way I did that was with a, a hazel shoot. So this is uh, still green. It looked like this just the other day, freshly cut, and there's now a, an arrow, 34 inch arrow. I have a feeling we could go a little bit narrower on these, but I've only just made them, I just whittled them down, I don't know how, how they're going to behave. But that one did quite well, it's a, it's a different wood, but it's skinnier. So we'll find out, this is all experimental for me, it's new ground for me. But I have seen, I've fired these arrows a couple of times now, and I've seen them fly quite well. I need to shoot it properly, and that will show us whether the hour is working well or not. It's going to be hard to decipher unless I do. So yeah, see how they did. Once again, hopefully I'm in frame. See how the 34 inch one looks. Yeah, we're not far, huh? An inch or two? Oh, I think maybe we've got a do that horrible part of taking the uh, taking the power, the exact draw length and power readings. Right, let's put this in the middle of that bag over there. I know it's not far away, but this is a hard style of shooting, and I could, I could miss even at this distance. So uh, please forgive me. Please understand. Not bad. Let's try one more. Try to make this one as similar to the other one as possible, but I feel it's a shoot of hazel. They're going to be very slightly different. Well, the knock is wider on this one. Right, here we go. So easy to miss. Again. I'll tell you what, super aching using the hand tools to make these bows really isn't conducive with being flexible and, and strong in order to shoot and test them. And the grip is, I think I've got some knots in my forearm I need to get rid of. A crucial part of this is quickly flicking the bow out of the way. That is going to be the next consideration as well. The handle needs to come down nice and thin, but it can't go too thin. Is you run the risk of breaking, and then if we uh, if we're trying to look for another inch or two of draw length, I think it's going to come out of here and here potentially. So this whole area here is the next consideration. How we might finish it off with you know birch bark or leather or something like that, or some real nice bougie leather, I think. Style being a uh, a key part of the art form. I should have put my glove on. Reflections of hit my knuckle again. If we get the technique right, shouldn't be a problem. Concept, middle of the bag. Ooh, that hurt. Urgh. One more for the art form. Click. 
that wrist, so. There we go. I should explain. <laughs> I'm not doing it right. You're supposed to, to pull with your thumb. I haven't got a thumb rim, ring. I was finding it was uh, hurting in there. So I'm doing, I'm doing my best without a knock as well. Sort of a, a combination of thumb and, and pinch. I hope I've demonstrated we're almost there. When I got the style right then I didn't hurt my thumb, so let's that be the incentive. Go. I can get a bit more confident with this style of shooting, I'll then push the target back. It's tricky. I'd say it's a it's, it's a very involving form of archery. I think the well you can see it with compound bows, the the, the more work that the technology does for you, the less involved you are with it. And so yes, compound bow shooting it all comes down to the very tiny intricate movements, just like with the rest of the archery, but this type of archery has been dialed towards almost being more difficult. You don't want to make it easier, you want to master the, the technique that you use to, to shoot it correctly. So we can do this. Let's bring my hand back like this. And we're getting there. That was at least in the centre of the bag. Yeah, hopefully I've got a nice frame of it. Drawing. <laughs> Beautiful. This one will be going up for sale. And I've got another piece of wood that is also going to make quite a nice EU me, I think. I think we're more or less there, folks. Beauty. Thanks for dropping in. Likes and subscribes are grand. Help me build the channel. And I will see you in the next one. Hopefully this drawing a little bit further.